landfill. 41 NBC selects Rodriguez has more on why the county is not going to meet its original deadline. Macon Bibb County needs more time to close its inert landfill. We knew that by the time we developed the engineering plans and the bid specs that we would have to have an extension because that's a very short period of time uh, considering the fact that we don't have any dirt on the site. In September, the state told the county it needed to close the landfill by February 18th because it didn't meet new regulations. Because of the site location down there. Uh, there were several reasons why they cited that we could not continue to operate. The main reason Macon Bibb won't close the landfill in time is because the solid waste department has to import dirt to cap it. The county is waiting for bids from companies that are willing to do that. The company the county chooses will come and level this entire site. Then they're going to need to put about two feet of dirt on top of it, which if I'm standing here right now, the dirt would need to hit to about my knee. The solid waste director estimates the closure to cost just over half a million dollars. We're getting that money through the Macon Water Authority. Uh, they had put some money aside to close the landfill, so they're offering to uh, pay that for us. The county sent a letter to the state asking for an extension. The solid waste department hopes to have the inert landfill closed by November. In Macon, Alexa Rodriguez, 41 NBC News. The solid waste director wasn't sure if there would be any consequences for missing the initial closure deadline. President's Day in Plains, Georgia started with a